Hello. In this video, we're going to complete this Cody Bat problem, which is found in the Python strings2 section called double char. And what we essentially do is we have to take the string and we have to generate a new string with each letter doubled. So this relies on a really important idea called string construction. This is the process of building a string and then doing something with it. So in our case, we're returning it, but you could print it or something like that. So if we trace out again, let's look at our first example. If str is equal to the word the, and the indexes here are going to be 0, 1, 2. If I was to create my new string, let's call it result. If I just imagine doing this, I'm going to have to take the first character. It's going to be t plus t plus h plus h plus e plus e. And so what I notice is that if I loop through the whole word and pull each letter twice, I can then double, I can then double the spelling for lack of a better, more accurate word. So what I see is that if I think about this, I'm going to say, okay, well, I'm going to say, look at this and I'm going to pull out T twice. And then I'm going to look here, I'm going to pull out H twice, and then I'm going to look here, I'm going to pull out E twice. What I've done is I've noticed, what I've done is I've pointed at each index and then processed it. So this is going to use that bread and butter algorithm, which is a good starting point, which is simply to, to progress through the entire string. So that is 4i in range, 0, comma, len, str, comma, 1. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to make some temporary string called result, which will be empty. And I'm simply going to say result is equal to result plus str at i plus str at i. And then I return result. And that's it. So if I hit go now, there we go. So let's just trace one of these out just to make sure we understand. Three, so I'm going to add a comment here. One, two, three. Okay. So... Let's look at the case where str, let's look at the again, just because it's short. 0, 1, 2. So in this case, we have our i. And we know that i is less than the length of str, which in this case is 3. So if we start this off, i is 0. Is 0 less than 3? That's true. So result is equal to result, which is empty, plus t plus t, which gives us t, t, and then i becomes 1. 1 is less than 3, that's true, so result is equal to, well, what's in result now? t, t plus h plus h, and that's going to give us t, t, h, h, 2, 2 is less than 3, that's true, so result is equal to, okay, so what's in result? T, T, H, H, and we're going to say plus E plus E, so we're going to get T, T, H, H, E, E, and then I becomes 3, and now we failed our loop, which is false, and we exit loop. And this is a nice problem where we look at, and we pull out each letter, and we just double it. The big idea here is this idea of string construction. String construction is a really great concept, um, and it allows you to do a lot of interesting things with more challenging problems. So as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a wonderful day.